Um, 26 watching, please hit the like and subscribe button. And thank you so much for tuning in. Now we got Hex. Hex has a bullish divergence. See that? Are we are we headed for another decorrelation? Higher high, lower high, lower high, higher high. I remain bullish in Hex. Right now we're trading at 2.5 cents. We're probably gonna head up and retest this 2.69. If we break the 2.69, we are probably, it's looking like we are going to head higher to 4.6. And then if we hit that 4.6, then we are headed straight to our target of 18.7 cents. Coinciding with maybe a setup for the pulse channel. So um, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that we are going to have a Pulse chain launch taking us to 18.6 cents. And then maybe, maybe dumping after that. Is the pulse chain launch going to be buy the rumor, sell the news? I think it is. I think it always is. Buy the rumor, sell the news is pretty much the rule in crypto. So that means we could go to 18, pull back to 10, sell the news, straight to all time highs. Um, that's that that's a possibility but uh we've been respecting the support and resistance um we have our levels we have a uh, 4.6 then we got a 6.9 this could be maybe the pull sheet launch target maybe the 18 the 18 is uh it's not going straight up to 18 there has to be points of resistance uh, on the way Maybe we could look. Make, maybe we could be looking at a testnet V3 pump to 4.7 consolidation, and then up to seven cents pulse chain launches. Dump back to 4.7, or or then we just head higher, pulse chain launches, and then we're up to 18.8 cents, and then sell the news back down to 10 cents. Is that how it's going to play out? Probably not. <laughs> um, just because things usually don't play out exactly as predicted, unless you predict multiple scenarios. Uh, and then it doesn't really matter. So that's my guess. But uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, let's see what you guys are thinking in the chat. Is Pulse Chain going to be buy the rumor, sell the news? What's our target at V3 launch? And what is our target at Pulse Chain launch? What is our Pulse Chain launch target? Good question. Send a super chat or send a regular chat. Up to you. Meat Sack 1.0. Welcome to the show, Meat Sack. Haven't seen you here. Hope you like. Hope, hope you subscribe. Hope you go to foodrefinance.com, read all my articles, like them, and then book your free one-on-one. -on -one. But the more it moves up, the more it will go down. It's less likely that a big move up continues. For Hex, the more it moves up, the more it will go down. True. Uh, reflexive system, that is true. It's less likely that a big move up continues. But we haven't had a big move up. We haven't had a big move up. Like once we're at a big move up, we could say it's less likely, but we really didn't have a big move. I mean, even Bitcoin didn't have a big move. I mean, for a bear market and for always going down, this is a big move. But um, I guess we've been so wrecked for so long that uh, <laughs> even this feels like a big move, but I, I don't think this is a big move. During the bear market, we were sort of spoiled. Um, but yeah, maybe you're right. Furu coming on the show later today for TikTok mania. Absolutely am. Absolutely. am, And I'm very excited. And you guys better tune in. Let's make this the most 
watch RH Max show in history. RH Max, what was your long what was your your peak viewership? How many viewers concurrently was your biggest show? Um but yeah, Chad sees many Chads, but only one Donner Chad. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that's really it for the uh, well, it's not it. We got more stuff for you. Uh, next, next up, we got Hex Daily Stats. Check, check Hex Daily Stats on the daily. 6.281 payout per T-share. If you had T-shares, you got paid 6.281 Hex for each T-share, which is awesome. Um, 100, 102 change in current holders. And 47 change in current stakers. Uh, not bad. That is great. Triple digit number and uh, current holders. So 102 people onboarded or maybe a little bit less if it's new wallets, but that's definitely a lot of people onboarded today during the bear market, which is obviously great news. And yeah, inching in on that 118 current stakers. How many stakers do you guys think we're going to have by beginning of 2024, which is going to be, I think, in my opinion, uh, the beginning of the next bull run. I think we could have over 200,000. And then it, and then it's like sort of like goes parabolic as price goes up because there is no better method of onboarding than price appreciation. So we could maybe have 1 million stakers total. I mean, current at the end of 2024. That is... That is definitely something that could happen, depending on how the adoption uh, plays out. But uh, what do you guys think? Uh, 45 watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like and subscribe to RH Max's channel, because I'm going to be there today at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, and Meat Sack says, you're right. I was looking at ETH moving up more when I'm used to seeing. So ETH has been going down less and moving up more relative to Bitcoin. Um, and people are attributing that to the Beijing whatever, where the, the stakers had to lock up their money in smart contracts and they're not unlocking it. And it might not be fair that they keep delaying the unlock. It might not be fair to people that staked because you know they want their money back but um as for price it's very good because it's very smart not to unlock right now because right now we are in the bear market and people like selling bottoms and buying tops so if they wait till eth is you know coming approaching at least all-time highs i think there's going to be a lot less people interested in selling um so that might be something to consider if you're an ETH developer, but obviously it might not be ethical. I don't know. You have to look into that. But as far as that also could sort of translate to the Mt. Gox coins, the Ross Ulbricht coins and all the coins. Um, if they were smart, if they cared about the price, they should unlock when there's serious price appreciation. But uh, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, thanks, bro. And crypto... THOS. Hey, brother, when did you get into crypto? What's a little bit of your background in finance? Great question. Uh, and you could hear all of that at my website. But we'll take a look here. Furufinance.com. And then you go to schedule your free call, which you should do, obviously. And hopefully, you know, it'll be meaningful. Maybe you'll even book a Book a one-on-one -on -one or, you know, take the course. There's a live course going on every Sunday now with the patrons. So it's uh, between 10 and 30, depending on your tier. You too can join the course live and watch the replay of the previous courses. But uh, I majored in accounting. Um, I studied economics, finance, and business at, in school. So I took accounting. I took the whole CPA track, but I didn't take the CPA. Uh, so I did accounting. Uh, Accounting one, two, intermediate one, two, and then advanced corporate tax and um, regu I think regular tax accounting. Those were the courses. Then I took principles of finance 
and corporate finance. And I took macro microeconomics. So uh, that's my background. It is cool that I have a background in that because most people in crypto don't. And these things matter when it comes to cryptocurrency. So um, I sort of integrate that. And I think that is my unique point, whatever. But um, yeah, that's really my background. And uh, totally, totally uh, book your free call. Or you could book a paid session if you want more than 10 minutes. But I mean, honestly, it would probably be better to do the 10 minute one and see see if you need it or see see what's worth your while. But if you go here, you could pay me a hundred bucks and you could get a one hour session or you could become a patron and you could get some serious discounts. Like if you're paying 10 a month, you get 30% off your first and then 15 on all others and then 20 plus all the other discounts benefits you get 40 off the first one and gold you get 50 and 25 percent discount on every one so might want to consider that you could even game the system you just get you become a patron for one month and then just totally ditch it but obviously i don't want you to do that because that would make me sad bro that would make me sad but i'll link to the patreons here Websites for finance.com. You can check that out. But uh, yeah, thanks for asking the question. And uh, 